Hello, this is Trudy with True and Healing Travel. Today I'm in Re beautiful Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, and it's an incredible sunny day. Now I've been here before, um, but never when it's this sunny, so I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm gonna take you on a walking tour, and I'm starting off here right on the main harbor, you can see behind me, and um, I'm going to be going to the Sun Voyager, which is a famous steel sculpture, and then take you into the town center. So, um, yeah, enjoy this video. Um, I work on a cruise ship as an acupuncturist, so this is my day off. And I have all day, we're doing it overnight here, so I'm really gonna take it in and share with you um, how to have a great day in Reykjavik. All right, enjoy. Okay, in walking walking along the bay here, I found this very insightful um, sign here that explains this bay here. And it's called Faxa Bay, F-A-X-A, and it's the largest bay in Iceland. And it's actually very shallow, too. Um, it says it's average depth is just 35 meters and the bay is open to the west facing the North Atlantic Ocean and the nutrient rich deep water currents that rise up just off southwest Iceland turns it into an excellent feeding ground for marine life and so that may be something I want to do next time I come here is do a, a whale watching okay I'm at the Sun Voyager steel sculpture and it's a landmark right here on the harbor isn't it beautiful so it's an ode to the sun and beautiful scenery all around all right from the sun voyager sculpture i'm gonna go um, up this street right here Brocasticker, something like that. It starts with an F. Oh, there it is. And this takes me straight up to the, um, the most famous church here. So I'm going to be going to that next. Yeah, and this street is the perfect street um, to get to from the Sun Voyager up to the church for more than one reason. It's also got my favorite bakery on it. I am so excited. That's gonna be my first stop, or my second stop, I should say. The colorful building here. B-R-A-U-D-N Company. So I'm gonna go in and see what they got. Yeah, just looking in the window here. A lot of croissants. And I remember they have incredible pretzels too, so let's go see. Okay, I'm at Hal Grimm's church, and the sun is right behind it. I'm literally positioned so the sun is not, you can see the glow around the top. And this is the tallest church in Iceland, and it's got a sculpture of Leif Gerritsen in front. I think it's theorized that he discovered Iceland. Um, so I'm, I've got a ticket to take the elevator to the top, which I'm excited about because last time I was here, um, I wasn't able to do that. So this is a Lutheran church. It was completed in 1986 and it's 75 meter high tower and the pipe organ is spectacular. It has 5,275 pipes. So this right here in front of the church is a popular um, area to, that people hang out and uh, you can see in the background the water. So yeah, let's go to the top and see, hopefully get a good view of the city. One more time.
to the top of the tower of the church and you can see there's great views. Definitely has to be one of the best views of Reykjavik from the Hals Grimm's Church Tower. Right across from the street of the church in the square there is this incredible museum that I went to four years ago. I'm just going to read off the sign here um, for Einar Johnson. He was Iceland's first sculptor and this was opened in 1923. Um, it was both his home and studio and um, there's a sculpture garden in the back. And he okay, so I was just in the Einar Johnson Sculpture Museum and almost all to myself and it is so amazing I don't understand why more people aren't there so he did say that um, only to take pictures in that for personal use so I didn't think it was appropriate to take my take the video in there so now I'm in behind the museum in his bronze sculpture garden um, this guy was amazing he was also a painter as well so, um, so I'm gonna take you on through this uh, garden all right this is a neat view. So I'm behind the Enar Johnson Museum and there's the um, Halsgrim Church Tower. And this beautiful garden has his bronze sculptures. So this gives you an idea of his work. And I'll just go back over here. Yeah, I, I saw this. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so this street is um, pretty iconic here. Um, look, it turns into pedestrian street here. The rainbow path here. And then also, you can see it from here, gives a great view of the, the church, which I'll come back to when the sun's not so bright. So we're going to take a walk through here. So it looks like there is an ice bar right here. It says the Magic Ice Bar. Ice bar. That's fun. I'm not going to go in there. I, I was. I went to one in Norway, but um, there is one here. Whoa. Follow the Rainbow Road. You'll see a lot of colorful buildings here, although this is one for drag parties. <laughs> and it's just so vibrant here today. This is so great. Another. Don't know what these numbers mean, but. Okay, so there is the city hall see everyone basking in the sun here and I discover they've got beautiful the lilacs are just in bloom right now which is a month later than the states because it's end of June usually they bloom end of uh, May so it smells divine right through here you can see all the lilacs 
Everyone's basking in the sun, having a wonderful time. I have arrived at Enor Johnson's sculpture here. And just to give you an idea, it's a great park. And it's up on a hill. So remember, Enor Johnson is a museum I went to. He's the first sculptor in Iceland. And this sculpture, I'll just read you what it says here, what it indicates. Um, it shows the settler Ingafur Arnarson. <laughs> Um, he was, according to the Book of Settlements, he and his crew were the first permanent settlers in Iceland and named the place Reykjavik, which means Smoke Cove, on account of the steam rising from the area's hot springs. Okay, I am at the best hot dog stand in Reykjavik, and I have gotten one. I love these little tables. They've got, you can put your hot dogs on. Anyway, I just got one with mustard and onion, and I'm about to go taste it. But, um, yeah, there you go. I can't pronounce it, but that is supposed to be the best hot dogs in Reykjavik. Okay, I have a unique find here. This is the um, Olafsson Sculpture Garden. Very surreal. <laughs> Looks like a lot of upcycling. And uh, it's right on the on the bay here. And uh, oh, and then there's there's a boat. And I'll walk through here. It's very intriguing. And I just talked to a local here and she said that they did make make a movie here or something. Freya, the twin of Freya Friday, the goddess of fertility. Oh, and they call it the Recycled House. Oh, okay, there we go. So the Recycled House is home to the film director of the legendary feature, The Raven Flies. Thank you for joining me today on my walking tour of Reykjavik, Iceland. And also, just to let you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot more tours like this. Um, the ship that I'm on, we're gonna be circumnavigating Iceland three more times this summer, even going through the tip of, uh, southern tip of, of Greenland. And uh, we're going to be going literally from Copenhagen to Boston, and then Boston back to Copenhagen, and one more time, Copenhagen back to Boston. So as you can imagine, lots of ventures ahead. So wherever you are, um, happy trails, and um, even more, if you any of this sounds interesting to you, please subscribe or leave comments or at least like my videos. All right. Anyway, have a wonderful time wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Imagine such a good parking spot for our ship. Look at it's so serene right here. Probably about almost a mile outside of Reykjavik. Really nice.